Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we can understand how we can drop our inventory equipment into the world. Like for example if you don't have enough space or don't want something, you could drop it inside of the world. For this what I want to do is actually modify a little bit inside of my inventory parent. I'm going to expose this amount to expose on spawn. Okay, save this and going back to our third person factor. I am going to create a few functions to drop these equipment. They are going to call from our user interface. So create a new function and I'm going to say drop apples. Now this is going to be a separate function for uh, each inventory item so that they can be bound to a specific button inside of the user interface. You could improve upon this if you want to, but I'm going to stick with this method. So what I want to do is say get vector location and say get vector forward vector and from here I'm going to say multiply this by a float value of 100 and I'm going to say add this vector like this and over here I'm going to say spawn vector from class and this is going to be dt underscore apple and I'm going to say make transform and I'm going to use this as my location oops okay and for the amount what I'm going to do is actually say get inventory attribute component and say get my apple Break this value and I'm going to use this current value as my amount over here. So I'm going to be dropping all of the apples that I have in my inventory. You could modify this so if you wanted to go and drop some specific amounts of apple or that kind of things. And now I also want to deduct this apples from my own inventory. So I want to apply gameplay effect to sell. And this is going to be a new class basically in which we subtract our apples from our inventory. And this is also going to use this amount of level. So what I want to do is go back to our um, GE classes. And we have this GE and give apple. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this and just rename this to GE remove apple. Open this up, and what I want to do over here is just change this to negative one. So we are removing instead of giving apples, and use this inside of my gameplay effects class. Okay, compile and save this. And now, what we want to do is actually trade this for orange and pineapple as well. So that's what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to say remove orange and change this to negative 1 and finally save this and I am going to do the same for pineapple and I am going to change this to negative 1 and finally save this going back to our third person character class I am going to duplicate this function and say this for orange oops orange and this is going to be my bp underscore orange okay and it's going to be remove orange duplicate this again and i'm going to say pineapple okay so over here i'm going to do this as bp underscore pineapple and i'm going to change this to Remove pineapple. Okay, so you can spawn an actor that's going to be repeatable, repeatable, can be picked up again, and also deduct our pineapples from our current inventory. So, if you want to acquire them again, we have to overlap those actors again. Oh, I also forgot one thing change this to like always spawn ignore collisions. I had a few issues with this, so your best to use this. 
for all of these uh, spawns. Okay, compile and save this. And now, I think we also need to add this uh, functionality inside of our inventory, user interface. So I'm going to open this up, and what I want to do is inside of this apple, orange, and pineapple, I'm going to add a button. Rather, let's place it over here. And I am going to add a text over this as well. I'm going to name this drop apple. The text is going to say that as well. Drop. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Use it to use. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this. This is going to be named drop oranges. So this is going to be over here and I'm going to duplicate this once more. This is going to be drop pineapple. Okay. Like so. Compile and save this. So I want to add a binding for this on six events for this. Okay. So I'm going to start with the apple and say on fix. Over here I'm going to say get my Dream owner and call that function drop apples like so. Go back to our designer and what's drop orange. I'm going to add an event on clicks and this is going to be the same. So I'm going to say drop orange. Okay. And for the last button, drop pineapple. And add event for clicks and drag it from here and say drop pineapple. Like so, so this is done. And let's go ahead and test this out. So, if I play this, oh, I forgot one thing as well. There should be a check if we have this like zero, we shouldn't be spawning these kind of things, right? So, what we could do is uh, before this, I'm going to get this value. Um, so, I'm going to get this value and see if it's greater than zero, I'll be doing this, otherwise, I won't be spawning any sort of actor or anything. Okay, copy this and Modify this inside of your drop oranges as well. Simply like this, and so we go over here. And this is going to go over here. Okay, and for my pineapple as well. So I'm going to say. Like so. Okay. Compile and save this. Okay, so there's a bit of an issue with our functions. So if I go over here, I'm using this apple, and inside of orange, I'm also using apple. So it's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to say get oranges, get paint structure, and choose this over front value. And for my pineapple, I'm drag out from it, say get pineapple. Split this structure and over here, like so. Okay. And next, what you want to do is also configure this to use your mouse during your user interface. So, over here is the get clear controller. This one and say input mode game and UI. This one and drag it to here and drag it from here and say set input mode game only like so. Okay, compile and save this and hopefully, hopefully, this time this will work. So if I overlap some oranges, okay, I have done that. If I open my inventory, I have 11 oranges. 
So if I press the draw button, they are decreased to zero, and they are right in front of me. So now I have zero oranges, but if I overlap this, I get back my 11 oranges. Okay, and this should work for other arbitrary amounts as well. So if I have five apples, I say drop five apples, and let's move a bit and say drop 11 oranges, and drop four pineapples. Okay, so I have zero of these. If I overlap this, I get back my four pineapples my 5 apples and 11 oranges so yeah this is the end of this tutorial series mini series or micro series whatever you like to call this so this is the way that you can make your own uh, crafting and inventory system using the game playability system now this is not necessary to use game playability system for this inventory setup there are a lot of uh, excellent examples on the marketplace both free and paid there are a lot of uh, robust kind of those inventory systems in the marketplace. You could use those, but this the main purpose of this was to enable you to use multiple attribute sets for your games and characters. So like enemies can have more than one attribute set, players can have more than one attribute set, like this inventory, health, mana, or some card attributes, that kind of buffs, debuffs. So this is it. Thank you very much.